All right, everyone. So today we're going to be doing the World War Three customization breakdown for the rifles. Once again, we're going to be going over the rifles only in this video, most specifically the uh, German G38. So if you want to see other weapons get customized, let me know down in the comments and we can do a breakdown of that weapon type as well. But for the purpose of this video, we're only going to be focusing on the G38. But as you can see, they have a couple different assault rifles, uh, shotguns, sniper rifles, SMGs, RPG, pistol and light machine guns, all of which are customizable. Um, Parts and more weapons will be added as the game continues development, so this is not final, uh, and certain things will be changed, added, or removed. Another thing I want to get into before we begin is in early access, there is no progression system, so right now everything is unlocked, but once the game comes out, there will be a certain way you have to earn these parts and these camos. So, going straight into it, we're going to do the first thing, which is camo, um, simply because it's at the top of the list here. Uh, as you can see, you have your standard uh, camos here. They do get a little bit... Spicy as we get further down, the Steel Puma especially. But then you also have some really cool camouflage like the color sets. And these I think are a lot more cool. They, they have like two-tone, um, you know, like a main color and a highlight going with them. I really like this one. Uh, and then you even have your custom, which are more skin kind of designs, as well as the patterns. Uh, and then the materials, right, for those of you that want your gold guns. <laughs> They're in game so like i said before you right now these are all unlocked but as the game um gets further through development closer to release i would imagine you're going to start to have to earn these patterns right you got your funny little tiger pattern if you want it and you can see like the detailing on the weapons is actually done really well we'll pick a parent so we can actually see that but you have your solid colors as well so we'll just pick like coffee as you can see like the detailing on the weapons is superb like it's got this tiniest little scratches and markings on it to give it character like i said like in my v12 recap that matters a lot like making sure that these weapons and stuff don't seem right out of the box new like giving them a little bit of scuffing and use wear and tear it really gives the uh the vehicle or the weapon a lot of character so yeah we'll stick uh we'll go back up to uh color sets and just take a simple camo here to work on we'll take uh, we'll take steel dot i really do enjoy steel dot steel dot so working with our first attachment, our primary sights. Now, there are m multiple different magnifications. You have high power, medium, one times, and your irons, right? So we're gonna start with the irons and showcase those. So normally in other shooters, you only have one set of irons you can really work with, uh, which are the ones that default come on the gun. But in uh, World War III, you can actually choose the irons you want on your weapon if you wanna run certain irons. Uh, you can also run multiple, uh, there are multiple different types of one times red dots, right? Like there are about maybe 15, different red dots right now which i think is really cool i really like the uh hollow sight long but uh we're gonna be moving on to the medium magnification which is like your three times and four times you can see there's so many different options and then finally our high mag which is really cool so we'll stick with uh an easy tap we'll kind of make like a dmr g38 just for the fun of it uh, our secondary sights, so you can actually have secondary sights, uh, which is your canted backup irons. So we're going to run one of these sets of backup irons that seem like not too in the way. Maybe the alpha sight ones. Yeah, we're probably going to end up running the uh, alpha sight or the G27s. I like the G27, so keep those. Uh, if you do run the proper rail and stuff, you can actually run red dot side uh, backup sights. However, because of our rail length, we're not going to be running them. So we're going to be sticking with the G27 canted irons. Now for barrel length, uh, you have three different types of barrel length on the G38. Uh, this kind of varies from weapon to weapon right now. Um, but you have your short, right? If you want to go up with the CQB variant of this G38. You have a medium if you want a standard uh, rifle setup. And you have a long barrel. We're going DMR setup, so we're going to take the long barrel. Um, this affects your accuracy and your velocity. And your weight a little bit or at least I, I assume it will in the future and then muzzles you have m multiple different compensators about 10 different compensators to go through to lower recoil and they all have their own unique look you also have flash hiders if you want to of course hide your flash your muzzle flash and then finally you have suppressors so we're gonna pick a suppressor here probably the QD silencer just for the fun of it I like how the QD looks. Your lower, this is your lower rail. So you have bipods, grips, and then grip combos, which are your flashlight and laser grips. So 
we're probably going to end up using a bipod, but we're going to showcase the two different bipods here. There's a grip bipod. Uh, both of these reduce recoil by 90% when you're prone. Of course, this is alpha, so uh, these are, you know, subject to balance change. You do have grips, space trooper grip, vertical grips, angle grips. You even have a potato grip <laughs> or the canted UKM grip. We're going to be running the bipod, like I said before, so we keep moving on. And then, of course, like I said, your combo grips with your lasers and flashlights. So going back to the bipod, we're just going to grab a standard bipod for our DMR. Now, our side, this is your tactical device on your side rail. I really wish that you could mess with which rail you put certain things on, like in Tarkov. Like in Tarkov, you can choose exactly what rail you want to put this stuff on. But for the sake of right now, at least in World War III Early Access, you can only put it on this rail right here so you have your combo flashlight lasers you have just your flashlights and then of course you have your lasers we're gonna be running with the ampec because i love the, how the ampec looks i just i i always have to put it on my rifles whenever i run anything in tarkov uh in sergey's sandstorm or uh world war three i just love how the ampec looks um and then finally of course within the attachments we have magazine and capacity uh, so we have 10 rounds, plastic with puller, plastic without the puller, aluminum, 20 rounds with puller, without the puller, aluminum uh, with the puller, without the puller. And then, of course, same uh, kind of deal with the 30 rounders, except you also have the rubber boot 30 rounder. And then, of course, you have your insane 50 rounders and 60 rounders. So just a reminder, guys, that this is all released upon uh, early access, but closer to release or even on release, you are going to have to start earning these. So we're going to stick with a 20 rounder just because we are running a DMR setup. Um, we're going to stick with a 20 rounder without the puller. And then we're going to move on to ammo. So in Escape from Tarkov, you can choose the different ammo for not only your weapons, like your uh, rifle and your sidearm, but you can also choose the ammo type for your kill streaks, and we've seen like the shrapnel rounds, the AP rounds, the high explosive rounds, the AP FSDS rounds. Um, there's a lot of different rounds in the game, and they all work differently depending on the armor that you're hitting, uh, whether it be a, a vehicle or it's infantry working a certain armor. Like there's a very in-depth ballistic part to this game, which I think a lot of players uh, from the hardcore realism side will enjoy. Um, and like I said before in my review, it's still fast-paced enough for the casual players. So, now we've got hollow points, which are for flesh, FMJ, which it does a good uh, job of hitting flesh and armor targets, and we have our armor piercing. Because armor is, like, the most annoying thing in this game, we're going to be running AP ammo, um, though I do think that FMJ is a good balance between the two. So, that's it for attachments. We're going to move on to body parts. So, for body parts, you can adjust the rail, you can adjust the... Uh, the handguard and you can adjust the stock i would at some point like to see like i don't know maybe some configurations different with the upper and lower receiver but i don't know uh maybe that'll happen when they throw an a ar-15 in or something like that i think that'd be really cool or being able to swap out charging handles um but i don't know we're getting to escape from tarkov levels of customization there uh so right now going through the handguard we do have different handguards here for the g38 of course this varies weapon to weapon of which handguards and stock parts are available but because we're running a long barrel, we're going to be picking one of the long handguards. So that's either going to be the G38 uh, long handguard or the free float handguard. We're going to take... Let's see which one looks nicer. This one looks more menacing. We're going to stick with this one. The standard G38 long handguard. Oh, we're, we're, we're starting to look pretty menacing already. Alright, so moving on to the next body, up, uh, body part we can work with. The stock. Multiple different stocks we can throw on here. We should definitely make a uh, space trooper rifle eventually, though. Um, but yeah, we're going to run with probably the uh, RGL stock. I like how that one looks. Or we could actually run with the CAR-15 stock. <laughs> it just makes it look a little bit more like a DMR. Yeah, we'll run with the CAR-15 stock. Um, and then finally, our pistol grip. So as you can see, about eight different pistol grips to run with here. I like how the barrel style pistol grip looks. The G38 standard pistol grip doesn't look too bad either. Ah, 
I think we're going to go with the M4 style Sega pistol grip. So that's pretty much all the parts here that we can adjust. The last thing you can do is, of course, put on an emblem. Right now, there are a couple different emblems, a couple national emblems, and a couple of charms. Level Cap has his charm. Let's get that Karma Cut charm. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's roll with uh, no charm. I think it looks clean with just the black. And so yeah, there you go. That's the uh, rifle customization for the G38, of course. This is only one weapon out of many weapons currently in-game, and then they're going to be adding more weapons and parts further on into the development. So yeah, let me know if you guys see a gun here on the side that you would like to see me adjust or create, you know, different setups on. Uh, we can do, like, the pistols or an LMG, or we can even do the shotguns and, you know, do long barrel shotguns, uh, shorty shotguns and stuff like that. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then once again, with the whole kit on, we can, of course, change the camouflage on this weapon to you know either something ridiculous or something actually a little bit more standard let's pick something let's pick something standard here uh let's run let's just run the hmm oh no there's so many options like i could sit in this this is like 60 percent of the fun in this game for me is just sitting in the customization screen like trying on new different stuff and how it looks and how it performs in game let's just run this one but yeah there we have it we have our uh dmr g38 german rifle with our high mag on it 20 round magazine rocking ap looks pretty nice and so you can do this with almost everything in this game right so we'll do another video based on the character customization the kill streak customization um like i said you can even choose what armor types you want to use but i'll do all that in another video um this one's getting pretty long here at 12 minutes and i know if i do another one it's going to end up being like 30 minutes long so let me know down below what you'd like to see next if you want to see another weapon done if you want to see the soldier customization uh or the kill streak customization because you can customize so much about this game and i love it i just love it there's so much you can do. But yeah, let me know down below in the comments what you'd like to see next, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.